Hello and welcome. Today I'll be installing Fedora Design Suite version 32. Start by clicking install to hard drive. Select your language. Select your hard drive. Make sure you select the correct hard drive then click done. Give it a second to load the installation destination. Then select your location. If not select it automatically. Click done. Then click begin installation. I'll pause the video and be back shortly. Welcome back. Now I will power off my machine to remove the installation media. Welcome back. Now you can answer the privacy questions and create an account to be used with this computer. I'll create my account, password, and then done. And all done, and click start using Fedora. First thing I will search for Twig Tools. It's not installed by default, but the search is smart enough to tell me that you need to download this from the App Store. And when you click on it, it will take you straight to the App Store. Click Install. When the installation is done, click Launch. Okay, I will just add the Minimize and Maximize to the Windows. And then Close. I will open Firefox and I will open Twig Tools as well. I need to change the theme to maybe a darker one. Okay, let's uh, go to theme uh, appearance and then select your desired theme. That change the icon as well, but let's put them front of each other so we can see what's what icons we would like better. Okay, let me see. I think a breeze looks uh, really cool. I like it. Okay, I like these blue ones and I'll keep them. Next, open Firefox and search for dash to panel. I click the first link that link me to extension dot genome dot org click here to install to browser extensions then on then install I'll search for another extension called arc menu basically these two extension that I really like and I always use them if they are not shipped with the system. Turn on, follow the same procedure and then close. I'll just open Tweak Tools and change the icon and maybe increase the size a little bit. Go to Extensions, Arc Menu, click on the gear icon and then go to Appearance then click the gear icon and then select the icon you like. I mean, let's try this one. Okay, it looks okay. Um, I'm gonna change it to the one that I like. Um, yeah, this one looks better, I think. I'm gonna reduce it a little bit, maybe to 3 0. Okay. And it just close from here, then close. Then next we go to desktop panel, and then I just want to reduce the opacity maybe to default. Because uh, by default it's solid. I'm gonna just uh, enable the opacity and leave it as default, 40% opacity, that's good. You can see what's behind it. Okay, then close. Let's change now the wallpaper. Just right click and then change background. And then select uh, one of the picture you like or use your own. I use my own. I just 
try to change the default one while I'm doing the installation. I think this one looks good. It's and this snow and sun, sunrise or sunset. It looks like sunset. Okay. Other ones, I think I'll keep this one for now. Next, uh, what I will do, I will restore themes from my previous systems. I just back them up and I usually use them. So I don't have to go download them every time. So let me plug in my pen drive. I'm going to just uh, open my theme and then we're going to check the integrity of the files. I'll just copy them to the download folder. Then paste. Uh, I'm going to just check the integrity really quick and feel free to skip this if you but I usually it's a good habit to to basically keep a file with uh, with checksum. So if somebody mess with it or you will know it, so you don't use it, just toss it. Okay, basically I have a MD5 checksum and they have a SHA-256 checksum. So both of them they have to check. If they check, I'm going to start with MD5. MD5. I'm going to start by just typing MD5 sum and then the name of the theme that 7Z. Then I just copy and then search and then it should select it. Or look at the beginning at the end. Let's do the same thing for the SHA-256. Okay. Okay, they are both checked. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna just extract this and then just... Uh, takes a second to extract, okay. So basically there's nothing there, but they are just hidden. The, fol the folder starts with a dot, you see? That icon it has Captain. It has Captain cursor. So, uh, Basically, and it has like four themes. Uh, what you need to do is just uh, copy these two, that icon and that theme, and then paste it in the home directory. So I already sh shown the the hidden folders. You can see. So just right click and then paste, and you'll see them. Okay, that's icon and that's theme. Okay. Next, let's hide the, the hidden files. Now we need to install user theme extension. We do the same thing, we search for it and then we, we install it from GNOME extensions website. Then when you're done installing, just close it. Then go back to tweak tools and it should be enabled by default but just double check anyway go to extensions and then search for user theme as you can see it's enabled by default okay next we go to to appearance and then now we'll be able to install the shell uh, theme that i i have uh, pasted on my home in my home directory so this is my favorite theme i like it it's, uh, it's it's XR Shadow. Search them at genome-look.org. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you don't, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.